Wow. Wow. We'll ask you to remain standing just for another moment. We have a very special moment now, and that's the invocation for, by the fire chaplain of Springfield, the Reverend Willard, J. J. Willard Cofield. And I will just make a note before he comes up for that invocation. Something I'm very proud of, not just being here today, but once we were confused. Our clothes were confused, actually, at the cleaners. They gave me this man's suits. And it made me feel good to think that, that they would have thought that I was that sleek and in that kind of physical shape. So without further ado, the Reverend J. Willard Cofield, Jr. I'm not even going to comment on that. I'm just going to say, let the church say amen. Amen. Blessed are leaders. Blessed are leaders who seek the best of those they serve. Blessed are leaders who hold high the light of courteous expression. Blessed are leaders who see the good in all things and create harmony. Blessed are leaders who remember praise is the key to success. Blessed are leaders who regard serving as an officer as a sacred trust. Blessed are leaders who work a harmonious and constructive teams and co-workers. Blessed are leaders for an understanding heart and infinite wisdom. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we bow our heads in prayer today and ask for blessings and guidance for our new fire commissioner, B.J. Kelly. We are ever mindful of our opportunities to serve and be served by our work and our workers. We are grateful for opportunities we have to serve and work for the people of Springfield, for our contributions, for our quality of life, and the quality of life we give to each resident. Oh God, may we always be conscious of the fact that we serve our city fire department. And you have said that as you have done it for the least of these, my brethren and sisters, you have done it also unto me. Truly, O oh God, we are in your service, and we pray for your continued blessings and guidance so that the city of Springfield may continue to grow in your power and the quality of life as we perform our duties and our calling. Bless all of our firefighters and city workers and police officers as we serve our city. Be the guidance and the wisdom in all that we do and all that we say. And we ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I'll be back to get my suit. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend. In keeping with the spirituality of this time and this moment, after hearing Vanessa saying Reverend Coldfield's remarks, we are very pleased that there is someone here with us this evening, or this morning, forgive me, who is nationally known, and that is the Bishop of the Diocese of Springfield, Bishop Rosansky. If there's one thing that unites all of the various religions of the world, it is that as a person of faith, each one is called to look outside of himself or herself for the common good. And what is exemplified here in our ceremony for Commissioner Calvi is the fact that he represents the best of the Springfield Fire Department in what he does and all of you do, and all those whom you represent here today, in making our community a safe community, a healthy community, and a happy community. Just knowing that you're there and that you are on the job makes us all feel safe and secure. So we owe to Commissioner Calvi in accepting this position and to all of you for what you do day in and day out, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, a debt of gratitude for thinking not of self, but always for thinking of others. God bless you, Commissioner Cowley, on this day and each day as you lead our Springfield Fire Department. Thank you.
thank you. You can be seated now. And this does not count for going to church or mass or something. It's going to be a lot of spirituality that we've had here on the stage. We've got a few people to acknowledge before we continue on. One is Colonel Peter Green of the 104th Fighter Wing. Colonel? I was on a radio show a few days ago in Boston, and I always love when I'm in Boston to let them know about Springfield there, right? And we were talking about crime statistics, and I was asked by a pretty major reporter, Tony, Springfield, you're a police commissioner. This guy actually makes arrests? I said, yes, he does. It's amazing. And it is amazing, too, when you take a look at the crime stats of the city and what's happening. Cannot thank you enough for the job that you do, sir. Our police commissioner, John Barberi. John Barberi. We now would have comments from the state fire marshal, Peter Ostrowski. Peter? Mayor Sarno, state and local elected and appointed officials, Commissioner Barberi, Commissioner of South County. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I'm delighted to be here today because the excellent relationship the State Department of Fire Services has with the City of Springfield and the Springfield Department, Fire Department, is so important. We have a unique partnership where the DFS Springfield campus, on the site of the former Springfield Fire Training Center, co-houses both the Fire Department's training division and DFS fire training, code enforcement, and fire investigation staff. This close working relationship has allowed the state to better support the training needs of the Springfield Fire Department. In December of 2015, together we dedicated the new state-of-the-art fire training facility after a $13.4 million renovation. Already, this investment has benefited the entire region and had a major impact on the fire service in Western Massachusetts. The ability to provide this premier training platform closer to where firefighters in the westernmost part of the state work has made it easier for more firefighters to access training. In the past two years, we have seen hundreds of firefighters train at this new facility, including many from the Springfield Fire Department in both state and local training efforts. The Springfield Fire Department, like all other major cities in New England, faces many challenges to provide an ever-increasing array of services to the community. The new casino, while driving economic development, provides challenges in fire and life safety. But putting out fires is not the only service the fire department provides. They respond to hazardous materials incidents in today's modern industries, and our major, the fire departments are a major community partner in the fight of the scourge of the opiate epidemic. As community risk reduction managers, fire departments now, more than ever, need to be key partners. Key partners in the city's comprehensive plan to keep the community safe. Our residents face so many different risks, natural and man-made. Making fire safety and key fire suppression factors part of the development and construction plans early on, ensuring effective code compliance and enforcement, and educating a multicultural community to keep itself safe from fire are as important as training firefighters to respond safely and to so many types of incidents. I've had the good fortune to work alongside of BJ for these last five years in our various roles and responsibilities. I know of his dedication, his leadership qualities, his commitment to his community and to his brother and sister firefighters. I look forward to continuing this great partnership and working close, very closely, 
with Commissioner Calvi and Mayor Simon. BJ, I wish you the best. I extend congratulations from all of us at the Department of Fire Services. I don't have to wish you luck because I know how talented and capable you are, but I know you'll be a great leader for the Springfield Fire Department, a great advocate for your personnel, your department, and the citizens, and a key advisor to Mayor Simon. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I was kind of hoping he was going to leave his hat there because I was going to have some fun with that later on today. Before we bring up our city's chief executive, we have one more opportunity to hear one of the most incredible voices that I've ever heard. And so we'd like to ask Vanessa Ford to join us one more time here on the stage for another selection. You don't have to stand for this one, but I'm sure this will be with this piece as well. Vanessa. We all know him. he's everywhere. He's the kind of guy that shows up at a fire, calls in all kinds of things the department has all the time, and he is amazing. He literally drives around the city and looks at street lamps to make sure that they're on, and will call to make sure that they're put back on. An amazing guy. The uh, it is he is the ever present, indefatigable, indestructible Dominic Sarno, our mayor, the mayor of the city of Springfield. Tony, I might have to look some of those words up you call me if those are uh, good in the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And uh, to Bishop Rosansky, we really deeply appreciate you being here. 
Uh, to Reverend Cofield, Father Daly, thank you so much. Uh, to my clerk, our clerk attorney, uh, Anthony uh, Wilson. Uh, obviously to uh, Commissioner Calvin, his wife, Carrie, uh, State Fire Marshal Kostowski, uh, Mr. Historian himself, uh, Tony C., thank you so much for being the, uh, the MC here today. I also want to give a thanks uh, to the Mistress of Ceremonies, uh, Judy Mack, the Spirit of Springfield, Dennis Ledger, and Tina D'Agostino from Symphony Hall City State. <laughs> Many of my colleagues in government are here. I, I did see City Council President Orlando Ramos is here, City Council Tom Ash, uh, City Councilor uh, Tim Allen, City Councilor Jesse Letterman. Please, if I miss anyone, if all the elected officials could please stand, we'd like to give you a round of applause. I want to thank all the fire chiefs uh, that are here. We really appreciate you. Uh, being here, that means a tremendous amount to Commissioner Calvi. I also want to give a, a thanks to outgoing Commissioner uh, Joseph Comet. I want to give a warm greeting uh, to uh, Commissioner Calvi's parents, uh, mom and dad, the family that are here. And uh, we had a nice conversation, and you told me that ever since he was three years old, he wanted to be a firefighter. So not only did he attain that dream and goal, but now he becomes the commissioner, fire commissioner of the city of Springfield. So we are so pleased to have you here. We just want to give you a round of applause and warm hospitality. <laughs> Being a fire commissioner in uh, this day and age, as the state fire marshal indicated, uh, is just not the uh, days of old. Uh, there are many delicate situations that you have to deal with. And many a times, slings and arrows are thrown the way of public servants. And if we do something wrong or constructive criticism, we don't mind that. But I think people forget many a times that when everybody's running out of that building, who's running into that building? It's our brave and dedicated firefighters and brave and dedicated police officers. When there is trouble about, who do you call? That bell tolls, the fire department or police department shows up. They're there not only to save structures, they're there to save lives. Commissioner Calvi comes with extensive experience, but what I like that he brings to the city of Springfield is his hands-on attitude, hands-on leadership moving forward. Now he's well versed in the fire sciences and fighting fires, but I'm also looking forward to his innovative leadership that he's going to put forth, not only on preventative, but proactive. And I think that's extremely key. And his community engagement. We have one of the most respected fire departments in the country. Still an interior attack fire department that has been Skills have been honed at the training center, their experience. So Commissioner Calvi, we leave you, we give you a well-trained fire department as we move forward. And I will continue to work with you and my budget. I see my CFO, uh, TJ Plan, and the City Council to make sure that we can continue to keep academies going, the State Academy, keep equipment being upgraded for firefighters and for vehicles and uh, to make sure that uh, our fire department continues to be very, very proactive. And I thank each and every one of our firefighters that are here uh, today. Uh, many a times you're not gonna get a pat on the back. Uh, constructive criticism or criticism is always there. Uh, but when in need, uh, you are there. And you put a smile on people's faces during some trying times. To Commissioner Calvi and to your lovely wife, Carrie, we thank you for taking on uh, this challenge. We look to work hand in hand with you as we continue to move our city of Springfield forward. Godspeed to all our firefighters and to each and every one of you. God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless our city of Springfield. Thank you so, so much.
And now it's time. Time for the oath of office to be administered by Springfield City Clerk, Anthony L. Wilson. Mr. Clerk. Gentlemen, I give you our new fire commissioner. Good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody here today. Uh, I really appreciate all my colleagues, my friends, and uh, everyone from the Springfield Fire Department and the community that's come out today. I've got a few thank yous. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my wife, Carrie, for all the support and uh, everything I try to do. I'd like to thank my mom and dad. Uh, it was my mom's birthday yesterday, so my first day on the fire department was my mom's birthday. I want to thank my aunts, Jean and Jane, for coming down from the frontier. <laughs> I want to thank uh, my wife's family, my sister-in-law, Missy, my niece, Susan, my uh, brother-in-law, Eddie, and my mother-in-law, Jan, for being here today. Most importantly, I'd like to thank Mayor Sarno for giving me this huge opportunity to uh, fulfill a lifelong dream and to continue my service to uh, the citizens and the citizens of Springfield. Uh, I want to thank the City Council and the Selection Committee that I look forward to working with in the future. Uh, I'd like to thank all the Chiefs that are here today, both from within the City of Springfield and outside Chiefs that are here today, John Barberi, the Command Staff of the Police Force, uh, I think that's pretty much got all my thank yous. I've got a long list here. The Honor Guard, all the Springfield firefighters for being here today. A lot of people have talked of service and what it means to serve. To me, it's always <clears throat> been a uh, lifelong dream to be a firefighter, to serve the public, and to try to do the best I always could. I was looking through some records the other day and Last week was actually the Springfield Fire Department's 224th birthday. So for 224 years, the Springfield Fire Department's been serving the city of Springfield and its residents, protecting it from public uh, natural disasters, fires, and medical emergencies. And that's a proud tradition that I hope to be able to maintain as we move forward. My goal is safety for the firefighters, for the community, and for everyone involved. Uh, in this day and age where there's threats around every corner of terrorism, cancer, heart disease, violence, everybody in the fire service and public safety needs to watch out for each other and uh, look out for each other's backs. And as commissioner of the fire department, I hope to be able to facilitate that as we move forward, both in a partnership with Commissioner Barberi and the chiefs within the department. I want us all to be a team as we move forward and uh, lead the department into the future. 
the first chief of the Springfield Fire Department was Elijah Blake. He served until he was 94 years old. I won't be here that long, <laughs> but I hope to have a full tenure for the department, and I look forward to working with every one of you as we go forward. Thank you very much. Just a little bit more housekeeping on my end before we come to the conclusions here. We would like to deeply thank sponsors for this day who are allowing us to have a reception right after this uh, ceremony closes. Commissioner Calvi and his family invite you to stay for refreshments to see him and talk amongst yourselves about the good things that are happening in the city of Springfield. We'd like to thank uh, and deep, we deeply appreciate the generosity of our sponsors for today, the folks who helped to make the ceremony possible, and also to do so without expense to the taxpayers of the city of Springfield. The mayor's very keen on that. So we definitely thank American Medical Response, Bay State Health. <laughs> Absolutely. There's a few more. City Stage and Symphony Hall. <laughs> Columbia Gas of Massachusetts. Elegant Affairs, Flowers Flowers, John and Jessica Sullivan of Nathan Bills. <laughs> Popular place. Mercy Medical Center, a member of the Trinity Health New England family. The Spirit of Springfield. Springfield team, the Springfield Thunderbirds. And the law firm of Pellegrini, Seely, Ryan, and Blakesley. Thank you very much. <laughs> there, I could probably go up and down the rows here and introduce department heads and others and whatnot. But all of you that are here, it says so much. Thank you, Superintendent Dan Warwick, for being here. Thank you, Pat Sullivan. It's grand that you're here to be supportive of the new fire commission and all the rest of you that are here. So it's been kind of a religious experience for me up here today, you know, with the Bishop and Reverend Cofield. And now we'd like to ask for a benediction today. And that is from the Chief Chaplain of the Springfield Fire Department, a very well-known man, Father Gary Daly. Father Daly. Perhaps, Tony, we could exchange suits. <laughs> Let us pray. We bless you, Lord, this day for the life and accomplishments of our new fire commissioner, Bernard Calvi, as he brings those gifts and talents to lead the Springfield Fire Department. Bless him with courage to make decisions that may not always be popular, but ones that will advance the integrity and effectiveness of this department. May he plan well and wisely, being ever watchful and vigilant of the lives and safety of the firefighters of this department, as well as the citizens of Springfield. Bless Commissioner Calvi with your grace so that he may always act with integrity. May he realize that all the gifts he possesses comes directly from you. Bless him with humility so that he take no reward or acclaim for a job well done without sharing that with the officers and members of his department who accomplish heroic acts, not as individuals, but as a team. In honoring and blessing Commissioner Calvi today, we honor the brave men and women of this department and firefighters throughout our land. We are grateful for their commitment to serve the greater good with, at times, heroic efforts. Place your protecting grace upon our firefighters and grant them supernatural guidance in chaotic situations, shield them from injury when they enter harm's way. Bless Commissioner Calvi's family with peace and prosperity as they share in his task of accomplishing his responsibilities through their support and encouragement. Bring success to his work and remove all obstacles in the way of the completion of his duties. May your angels protect and guide him and all the members of this great department. Finally, we pray for and ask your blessing, God, on this great city of Springfield, its mayor, and all who lead it. Bless our new commissioner and his department through the intercession of St. Florian, 
patron saint of firefighters, and in your holy name, Lord God, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Daly, and thank you all so very much for being with us here today. We now would like to ask for the retiring of the colors by the Springfield Fire Department. Please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today, for being part of history and the beginning of the next chapter of an incredible career in firefighting in the city of Springfield. Thank you very much. Everybody, I just have um, two more thank yous that I forgot when I was giving my speech. I want to thank Judy Mass personally for pulling this together today. You did an awesome job. And I want to thank Ben Fletcher, my aide, for getting all this done today. You did a lot to all of us. And I want to thank Judy Mass as well for pulling this together. Thank you so much. Thank you.
younger brains. This is what we need. See you back at the ranch. I guess that's it. I don't see any reason to stick around. Well, I already did a quick hit with him before we got out there. Kind of on live TV at the moment. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your names. Joan and Calvin. All right. Joan, Joan and Bruce Calvin. Spelled the regular way. Yeah. All right. Your son's the new fire commissioner in Springfield. However, How do you feel? We're very proud. Very, 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 proud. very proud. It's an awesome honor. Okay. Since he's been three years old, really? that's all he's ever wanted to be. He's a fireman. And his dream has come true today. Okay. When, when, uh, when he got the job, I mean, assuming he called you guys up first. Oh, absolutely. We were waiting with bated breath. All right. And, and what was that like when he told you? Ecstatic. We were ecstatic. Okay. Very, very proud of him. I mean, he's your son, and you've always been proud of him. But did you ever think he'd go this far in his career? We hoped he would. We hoped he would. Okay. To reach this goal, okay, and worked at it very hard his whole life. Okay, you two live in Springfield? No, we live up in Clarksburg. Up where? Clarksburg, Massachusetts, hey. right outside of North Adams. Oh, okay, that's, that's what we call Southern Vermont. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Absolute matter of fact, we only live about 500 yards from the Vermont line. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. I, I, I was a little late. Wait, would you tell me your name? Joe Calvi and Bruce Calvi. Okay, nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. You got a second? Yeah. All right. Caution you. You're on live TV right now. Spur the cars. All right. Get away from the get away from the window. Beauty, beauty. All right. Ultimately, all journalism questions come down to how do you feel. So how do you feel at this moment? I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to getting going with the job and moving forward uh, to leave my impression or leave my mark on the Springfield Fire Department. Okay. Any thoughts and ideas on what you're going to... Congratulations. Thank you. I, I don't expect you to ask, answer in great detail, but are there any proposed changes that you're going to be doing, or is that too soon? It's too soon to talk about any changes. Right now I want to do a full evaluation on each, each division within the department, see what the strengths and weaknesses are, and see where we can tweak things to make things better. The department's doing very well right now. So I just want to see where we can make some adjustments to make it even better than it is. Okay. With, with all changes like this, there's a learning curve. How long do you think yours is for this? I think it'll be pretty short. Uh, once I get up and running on all the systems and how the processes are working, I think it'll go pretty smoothly. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, so we're here live, conclusion of the ceremony. 
Uh, this was the swearing-in ceremony for the new Springfield Fire Commissioner, Bernard J. Calvi. Everyone calls him BJ. Uh, so I'm going to be signing off right now. I'm your Republican Mass Live correspondent, Patrick Johnson. Thank you for watching.